Hi guys and welcome back to another cleaning marathon for an hour and a half of cleaning motivation. I got this genius idea from Amanda from This Crazy Life so I'll make sure to have her information linked below. And she's so smart because cleaning videos are really super helpful for cleaning motivation but sometimes you just want to clean right along with just one video. So the whole purpose of this is to be able to not have to change the video or look for new videos and just stay focused for an hour and a half of cleaning. So feel free to prop this up, grab some coffee and your favorite cleaning products and let's get cleaning. Hey sweet friends, welcome back to another After Dark Clean With Me. I have a lot of relaxing music in this After Dark Clean With Me, so make sure you click the thumbs up if you are ready for some extreme cleaning motivation. So tonight I did a quick tidy up of my messy house and I did some vacuuming and I think I'm gonna make this like a Thursday tradition. I just feel like it's really working for us and I'm really enjoying waking up on Friday mornings and everything is super clean and then kind of ready for the weekend so we can just relax. red subscribe button if you're new here. I would love for you to join this community of friends that we've made and if you haven't yet make sure you hit the notification bell because then you can be one of the first to comment and I'm always in the comments within the first hour so you don't want to miss out on that first hour of commenting back and forth with me and the other friends here in the community. So one of the things I've been enjoying doing with my laundry lately is whenever we're folding mainly the kids stuff um, I always fold the KonMari method and if you haven't seen my KonMari method on my kids room you should definitely check it out. I'll have it linked in the description box and here in the cards. There's a certain way that you fold so that you can see everything kind of like a filing system in the drawers and it has been a game changer for the kids room and so every time I do laundry I just kind of get like a little tub or a little basket and then I can just put everything like a filing system in that and then I just take it into their room and put it into their drawers. So after I finished cleaning up the table from dinner this night, I went in and sprayed down all of the chairs and the table and then I'm going to spray down the high chair in just a minute with my Mrs. Meyers Peony Multi-Surface Spray and I love this stuff. It's something that I just look forward to using every time I clean. I don't know, it's just kind of funny like that. And I will definitely have a link down in the description box if you want to try this out. Um, you can just order it through Grove Collaborative and I'm pretty sure that they still have their special going on so that you can get a bunch of free cleaning products if you spend $20. So I'll make sure and leave that link down below for the free stuff. So I'm just going to be cleaning up all the dishes from dinner or whatever was left from the rest of the day. I feel like our sink fills up so quickly. We just cook a lot here and so I think 
you know, it's just a lot to deal with, a lot to keep clean, a lot to keep in the dishwasher. So I'm just going to be going in and putting my Cascade dish detergent, dish detergent, dish soap <laughs> into the dishwasher and getting that going so that in the morning I can just unload the dishes and I'll be all ready to go for the day. Um, a second ago, I showed you that the clock said 7.15 and it's because I wanted to show you it's really light outside. And I know this is like an after dark clean with me, but it was definitely nighttime and it was dark when I was finished cleaning. So I don't know, hopefully that still counts. I had washed all of my lettuce and I was trying to get it really dry but it wasn't quite completely dry yet so I just went ahead and grabbed like I don't know five napkins maybe four napkins and just put them in between all of the leaves and I don't know I've never done this before but I just felt like it was a good idea so let me know in the comments is that what you do with your lettuce what do you do with your lettuce when you clean it or do you just clean it as you go like I used to do that which is where I would just pull pieces off, wash them and make the salad, but then I would leave all of the other pieces together and in a Ziploc bag. I just love this song that's playing right now. I think it's called That Something by Jones Meadow. Let me know in the comments below if you have any song requests for future cleaning videos. It does have to be copyright free music, but I know that a lot of YouTubers put the title of the song and who it's by in their videos. So if you have anybody who you are really enjoying lately, just let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure and include them in my next video. So the deal that I mentioned before that comes from Grove Collaborative, this actually is all of the stuff that comes for free. And so if you haven't done that yet, make sure that you go down and check out the link that I have in the description box if you have never ordered through them before. So I'm going to be using this baking soda cream cleaner on my sink. I really like using this. I don't know. I just like the smell of it. I think it's lemon verbena and it's by Mrs. Myers, and it's also available at that Grove website. Ever since I was a kid, I mean an older kid, I whenever I did my chores, if I finished cleaning the bathroom or whatever I finished cleaning, I always lit a candle. So I'm just going to be lighting that Yankee candle and I think it's like a laundry scent which just makes my house smell so clean and fresh. I love, 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 love the smell of laundry. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite scent is in all the world. What is your favorite, favorite smell? It could be perfume or a candle or whatever. So a lot of people were asking me in my last couple of videos where I got these slippers from. They are from JCPenney. I did like a big old splurge from them recently. So I'll make sure and leave that video linked here also. Um, and then I'm just going in and vacuuming all of my carpet, which is extremely important these days as I keep telling you. <laughs> um, my son is, not that son, but my other son is 11 months old and he puts everything in his mouth, literally everything in his mouth. And it is so exhausting trying to follow him around all day and make sure that he's not gonna choke on anything. So I feel like vacuuming is a very important part of my day. And I don't know, 
one of these days it's not gonna happen anymore I'm not gonna have to like save him from putting things in his mouth but for now that's the stage of babyhood that we're at So since I've been doing a ton more cleaning videos lately, let me know down in the comments if you have any cleaning video requests. So I know it's kind of a funny question, but there's so many different types of cleaning videos. So let me know if you want to see me clean anything specific or any genre of cleaning video. Let me know down in the comments and I'm going to make sure and link a couple of super awesome videos right here. So don't forget to click on those. I'm also going to have my cleaning playlist linked linked below. So if you are cleaning right now and you want to watch some more cleaning motivation, make sure that you click that cleaning playlist. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I would love to have you as a subscriber. So don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey friends, welcome back to another extreme and deep clean with me of my house. Click the thumbs up if you're ready for some extreme cleaning motivation today. I still need to go in and do some serious spring cleaning of the bedrooms and bathrooms, but I felt like I needed to do a general clean with me first and then move to the spring cleaning motivation second. So today I will just be cleaning my bathroom and cleaning my bedroom. So get ready to clean with me. Let me know down in the comments what you're gonna be cleaning along with me today. If you're new here, my name is Katie Satilli and I'm so glad that you stopped by. Please consider hitting that red subscribe button. I post videos twice a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can look forward to those days. And I usually post videos on cleaning, organization, vlogs, or just whatever I'm kind of in the mood for. So make sure you stick around. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you like this kind of content or you see anything that you like in it and you wanna see more of it. Now I'm just going to be filling up my diffuser with some essential oils. My husband has had the flu, so I did not want to get it. So I've been diffusing this on guard blend <laughs> so much this past week. I just have it on like full force every single day and night. Um, I do not want to get whatever it was that he got because it was nasty. So anyways, that's what I was doing there. And then now I'm gonna start to attack the bed with all of the laundry. And we washed these sheets and blankets. Um, again, just cause Sean was sick, we wanted to make sure everything got like a good thorough cleaning. And now I'm just gonna put my shoes away and then we'll just move on to doing some laundry. As a family of five, it has become very apparent that 
keeping up with laundry is so difficult. As soon as I feel like I catch up, boom, I have another pile. And I don't know. I don't know how to get it under control. I have always been the one to say like a load a day keeps the chaos away. And sometimes I don't even feel like a load a day keeps the chaos away anymore in my house. <laughs> Now that I've got everything hung up on hangers, I'm just gonna go in and start putting everything away in my kids' room. If you haven't seen my kids' room declutter and organization with the Dollar Tree bins, I'll go ahead and link that here. I also have a KonMari that I did on my kids' room, so I'll link that as well. Um, lots of fun organizing my kids' room. They are um, five years old, almost four years old, and a 10 month old and they're all in one room and we just, I don't know, we make it work. So if you wanna see how we make it work, go ahead and click on the videos that I have linked in the description box about that. I did want to tell you guys that there is a giveaway going on over on my Instagram and if you want to be entered to win just head on over there I'll make sure and have my Instagram handle below it's just katie.satilli basically it's just a $500 giveaway that I'm doing with some of my other sweet friends the giveaway ends April 12th so I'd love to have you go check that out over on Instagram Now I'm going to be moving on to cleaning our bedspread, which is actually a quilt. We got it semi-recently from Target and we have been loving it. It's definitely lightweight, which we decided would be best for where we live because basically any comforter we've ever had lives at the bottom of our bed, <laughs> like at the bottom, like the foot of the bed is what I'm trying to say because it's just not that cold here for the most part. We live in Southern California, so it's pretty warm. Anyways, I just go in with my Gain fabric softener and my Gain laundry detergent, and then I also put some bleach in there, just because the whole quilt is white, and I like to keep everything like bright white if I can. So yeah, that's kind of how we're gonna be cleaning the bedspread today. And then this is my method all-purpose spray in the scent lime and sea salt which is absolutely one of my favorite of all time they have the yummiest smelling scents it makes cleaning 20 times more fun i swear <laughs> it's like those little things that make me like okay i'll just clean
as you can see there, my daughter Fiona, who is five, she just got home from school, so she came upstairs and kind of just hung out with me. I know I'm pulling her to the side. <laughs> it's so funny. Sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> what is life? I'm like filming myself cleaning when my daughter comes home from school. <laughs> Anyways, that's beside the point. She came home and kind of hung out with me for a while, which I loved. I love just like spending time with my kids and um, I think it's cool to kind of spend time even while we're doing just like normal tasks each day because you know, it's not about like what you're doing. It's about just spending that time together. So sometimes my kiddos come and hang out with me while I'm cleaning, which is awesome and I love that. Um, so here I'm just going in with some Lysol toilet scrubber cleaner what am i saying and then <laughs> i'm gonna put in that barkeeper's friend in the bottom of my shower which i don't know the bottom of my shower was pretty bad this time i didn't really fully show it but it was pretty bad um this whole bathroom like really needed to be cleaned really 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 bad and then even at the end i'm gonna be mopping this bathroom and it was just awful like awful 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 so hopefully i'm gonna be keeping up more with cleaning because i am doing more cleaning videos so hopefully it will help me to not let things get so nasty but anyways so for now i'm just gonna be wiping down the toilet with that clorox spray which i actually just ran out of so I'm going to probably have to order some more of that. I like having one bleach bottle on hand just for like the toilet. I do not like using like all natural stuff on my toilet because let's be honest, those things need to get like seriously cleaned hardcore. going to be getting my mop ready. This is my O-Cedar mop. If you guys have been watching my most recent videos, I have been mopping every single time. Somebody asked me like, do you mop every day? I'm like, no, I definitely do not. But ever since I got this thing, I have been mopping in every single one of my cleaning videos. But it's also just because like I haven't mopped upstairs yet in my, like since I got this mop. So, you know, it needs to be done. So this is the O-Cedar mop. I'll have it linked in the description box below. It's awesome. I love it. Yes, it does take up some space as far as like um, storing it, which we don't have a lot of space. So I just keep mine in the garage and that's totally fine for us. Um, but yeah, one little thing that I realized when I was cleaning in my bathroom today is I can use this mop to clean the baseboards. And I don't know, you'll see me do it here in a minute. So I'll show you. And also one thing I did want to mention is that I went in with the Mrs. Myers all purpose cleaning spray and I was at the very end of the bottle. So I just dumped the rest in there and the scent was basil. And I was like, this is what I need to do more often. I think I get like stuck on like, I need a floor cleaner for the floor cleaner, but you know, who cares? Cleaner is cleaner. So if I have like a little bit left of something, I'm just going to use it up just so I can get the bottle out of my house. And as you can see, I am now cleaning the baseboards. After I finished wiping down those mirrors with some Windex, I'm now gonna be finally getting to the end of cleaning and vacuuming my room. I needed it so bad. You know how I love my vacuum lines, vacuum lines on fleek. Yes, yes. You know what? Let's create a hashtag. Hashtag vacuum lines on fleek. If you're over on Instagram, make sure that you tag me with the hashtag vacuum lines on fleek and we're gonna start a thing. This is a thing now. It's like becoming like an inside joke, but now I'm gonna turn it into a hashtag because why not? You know, we gotta make cleaning more fun. So 
I just wanted to remind you guys of how disgusting my room was and I wanted to show you the beginnings of how much I needed to clean when I first started this room and then I'm gonna do an after right here of everything after it's cleaned. So thanks so much again for joining me for another cleaning video and I'm gonna link a couple of fun videos right here. So I'll have my morning routine and then I'm also gonna link my spring cleaning routine and hopefully you guys will enjoy those videos. Make sure that you are subscribed. You can always click the little circle with my face on it that's gonna pop up here at the very end and that way you can hang out with me again. I'll see you guys in the next video. friends welcome back to another extreme clean with me today I'm gonna be mopping my house for the first time in way too long we broke our mop a while back and I never replaced it and recently in a cleaning video I had asked all of you which mop was your favorite and you all answered almost unanimously that I should get the O cedar mop and then I'm gonna be cleaning with this lavender eucalyptus Clorox just because it's been such a long time since I mopped my floors. I know it's disgusting, but I wanted to make sure and get them really clean and really disinfected. So that's why I chose that cleaning product as opposed to something more mild or non-toxic. So now I'm just gonna be going through my downstairs area and mopping really, 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 really thoroughly all of the floors downstairs. Also wanted to invite you if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel don't forget to do that before leaving today i would love to have you as a subscriber and i love having kind of this community that we have mostly women who can kind of share tips and tricks down in the comments and everybody is seriously so sweet to me and to each other down in the comments i just love that so let me know down in the comments say hey i'm a new subscriber and even if you are a subscriber that you've been here for a long time i'd love to hear from you down in the comments as well it's funny because i have watched youtube for so many years and it took me probably five years to start commenting on youtubers videos and it's so funny because i just never really thought to do it but once i started doing it i was like oh my gosh i actually get to know this person so don't forget leave me a comment say hey say what's up air hug you know all that good stuff mention if you can see these bins over here on the right side of the screen if you haven't yet watched my bathroom dollar tree organization video i'll make sure and leave it linked down below in the description box or up here in my icard 
and it's I think a really great video just because I love organizing and I love organizing especially with Dollar Tree products because it's so cheap and I get a bunch of those labels from Amazon and all that stuff so I have all the information in that video on how I organize my family of five to live in a very small condo here in Los Angeles, California. So if you're interested in seeing me organize my bathroom, I'll make sure and leave that video linked below. So after I was done with all the mopping, I decided it was time for a lunch break. So I pulled out some Ling Ling pot stickers and egg rolls and I partnered up with Ling Ling and they are sponsoring this portion of the video. So I was so excited when they reached out to me because growing up, my mom used to buy these pot stickers for us and we would always get them from Costco. It was just a fun way to switch up the foods that we had in our house. Ling Ling has really authentic flavored recipes and I've always loved their pot stickers. They only use high quality ingredients with fresh vegetables and proteins. Making these pot stickers was super easy and I cannot wait to make them for Sean. I already told him that I'll have to make like a little date night after the kids go to bed with pot stickers and a game or something like that. Definitely perfect for families who want to kind of switch things up a little bit and then they come with a signature dipping sauce and it was good enough I could have drank it and I might have drank it a little bit I'm not gonna lie. So I'm so glad I only made half of the package because otherwise I would have eaten the entire bag myself they taste so delicious so if you want to try some of these out for your family check out my description box for a link so after I finished eating my lunch I'm just going to get my all-purpose spray and start spraying down my counters and just kind of get things cleaned up and crumbs cleaned up and all that kind of good stuff you can see that I'm talking to my kids. Yes, my kids were home with me while I was filming this video. So there were a lot of interruptions that I edited out. There's so much going on with YouTube right now and you know, this mom community and any channels that feature their kids or stuff like that. So just until things kind of calm down or until I figure out exactly what is going on, I'm definitely gonna be focusing a lot more on my channel with cleaning videos and things that don't really include my kids quite as much. I'd rather be safe than sorry and I really don't wanna get my YouTube channel shut down so I'm just gonna kind of gear my channel a little bit more towards cleaning than I have in the past. And then another thing that is kind of an update here on my channel is I have started an uploading schedule. So because I had Hudson, I have a son, he's 10 months old in case you're new here. Once I had Hudson, I decided to kind of go off of my uploading schedule and just do it whenever I possibly could. But now I've been uploading every Wednesday and Sunday in the mornings. I hope you guys have been liking that schedule. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. But just so you know, you can remember that I always will upload new videos on Wednesday and Sunday.
So once I was done cleaning up the kitchen, I moved into the dining room area and just started clearing off our table. Our table is so tiny. We are so growing out of this thing, but you know what? It works for us for what we need, but it does get very cluttered very quickly. So when the kids get home from school, it's like all the lunch boxes and backpacks and water bottles and everything are on there. So I always try to just get everything taken care of, everything signed, all the homework stuff figured out, all of the lunch boxes cleaned out and put away and packed for the next day. And yeah, that way I feel like, okay, we can actually eat dinner on this table tonight. <laughs> Now that I got that table totally wiped down and cleared off, I'm just gonna go ahead and start vacuuming up my carpet. You can see Hudson hanging out with me right there in his high chair. He is again 10 months old and he's definitely in the stage where he is like a human vacuum cleaner. He just crawls around and puts every single little tiny thing in his mouth, which is sometimes very dangerous. So I have been really trying to be diligent about vacuuming my carpets because if I don't, he will find any little tiny specks of anything and eat them. So yeah, that's kind of a new fun stage we're going through right now. Also, if you are in the market for a new vacuum cleaner, this vacuum cleaner is the bomb.com. I always talk about it, so I'm sorry if you've been around for a while and you're like, hello, stop saying that your Shark Rocket vacuum is awesome, but it is awesome. So if you're looking for a new one, I'll make sure and have it linked in the description below. And then if you haven't yet seen my morning routine, I'm gonna go ahead and link that here at the end. And then I'm also gonna link my Dollar Tree bathroom organization video with the Dollar Tree products, and I'll have that linked here at the end also. And then if you do wanna subscribe, all you have to do is click the little circle that has my face on it here, and you will be subscribed to my channel. Don't forget to put the bell notifications on. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for another video. I absolutely love having you here. I hope that you enjoy it as well. Those vacuum lines are on fleek. Is that even a correct statement? I don't know. And lastly, don't forget to check out Ling Ling in the description box below to get you some delicious pot stickers. Hello my sweet friends and welcome back to another clean with me video. Today I'm just going to be speed cleaning my house real quick trying to tidy things up. It looks like a little bit chaotic. It's not horrible but I do have some stuff that I need to pick up from the morning. Lots of like breakfast stuff and makeup stuff and the plates like every single morning even if I wake up with the house clean I still have to do a full on pick up after everybody's ready for school and out the door and all that kind of stuff. I would love to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like cleaning videos and want to see more content like this. I post lots of videos, usually two times a week, Sundays and Wednesdays, on cleaning and organization and lifestyle. And I would absolutely love to have you stay and hang out for a bit. And you know, grab a cup of coffee because that's what we do over here. <laughs> And I have very exciting 
spring news today, and that is that Grove Collaborative is offering their new Grove Scents, which is so exciting. I feel like every time the season changes, I want to stock up on the, whatever the new scents are from them. So right now they're going to be having peony, mint, and lilac. I ordered the peony and I'm loving it so far. I think that it smells absolutely delicious and so fresh and floral and just like, I don't know, it just screams spring. So anyways, if you are a new customer and you've never ordered with them before, you'll be getting all these items for free. A Mrs. Meyers spring hand soap, a dish soap, a multi-surface spray, and then the Grove Collaborative Bubble Up Brush and Walnut Scrubber Sponges. So if you do want to try out this offer, I'll have the link down in my description box and you can check it out there. So I've basically just been cleaning out my purse. I don't know if you guys saw my Amazon what's in my purse video <laughs> or what's in my Amazon purse, but wow. I mean, I don't know. I just kind of stopped using a diaper bag once I had my third kid and I just shove everything in my purse so it can get really messed up really quick. Um, as you can see, I was talking on the phone with a friend and this is kind of what I do while I clean. I don't know what you guys do while you clean, but I either talk to friends or put on a YouTube video in the background or listen to music, but I don't know. It just kind of distracts me from the fact that I have to be cleaning. So I do have a 10 month old baby just in case you're new here. So sometimes the kitchen will be filled with toys just because that's the only way I can either get cooking done or get you know the dishes in the dishwasher or whatever. So that's what I'm doing right now is cleaning up my kids toys from the kitchen. Also, if you're wondering why my voice sounds very deep today. <laughs> It's because I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was ready to post a different video and then I realized I was not allowed to post that video because of a sponsorship I did a few days ago and so I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have a video for today. So I was like, oh, I'll just edit the stuff that I have on my computer. So that's how this is happening right now, which is kind of funny. But anyways, that's why my voice sounds a little bit manly because you guys are the first ones who I've talked to today all day. I'm sitting here with my coffee on my bed. It's 6.20 a.m. and just editing. So here I'm showing you one of my throw pillows that is brand new and had some sort of pink candy stickiness on it. And I just washed it off with like a water and sponge. And I'm just kind of picking up the living room, folding some blankets, trying to just kind of tidy up from the morning chaos. Um, I don't know if you guys experience that at your homes. Let me know in the comments if you do. Um, do you clean it like little by little throughout the day and keep up with it? Or do you clean it all once at the end of the day? I'd love to hear down in the comments. Also, fun fact, I went to Lowe's yesterday and bought all new light bulbs for my, for my whole house and we replaced 
every single light bulb so that we can have better lighting for my videos. I don't know how it took me so long to get on this bandwagon because I knew I should be doing this, but I just never did it. And so now it's not in this video, but in my next few videos, you will be able to see my new lighting and how it makes things look a little bit more white instead of yellow. So be on the lookout for that. I cannot wait to see. I actually have not filmed a video quite yet with my new lighting. We just put it in yesterday, so I'm really excited to try it out. So this has been on my to-do list for a very long time, as you can tell, because it's very dirty. Um, don't hate, I know that everybody probably has dirt like this in their house somewhere. <laughs> um, so I just grabbed my method in the lavender scent and I'm just gonna be spraying it down and trying to get these tracks clean because Hudson, my 10 month old, tends to come over here and kind of, I don't know, put his fingers in the tracks and that's just not okay that it's that dirty. Um, fun fact, I used to be an RA in college, which is a resident assistant, and then I was a resident coordinator, which meant that I was over the RAs, and basically what we did was <laughs> cleaning checks every single week for all the students' um, dorm rooms, and then <clears throat> at the end of the year, we would check people out of their rooms, out of their dorm rooms, and their rooms had to be, basically we like walked around with like a white glove. This is one of the little tips that I used to tell people to do when they were cleaning their rooms because I had to be like the hardcore, intense person who would tell them like, nope, I found some dirt over here, you have to re-clean it and then come back. You cannot leave until your room is perfectly clean. So that's kind of some of my background with cleaning. Anyways, it was always the tracks that gave people issues. They just could not seem to get them clean. And I understand, because I was there too. But I would get a pencil or a pen and just like shove a rag or paper towels and get it all kind of like soaked with some sort of cleaner or water and then just run that um, pencil or pen back and forth through the tracks and it seems to like be able to get a lot of in those like hard corners because otherwise you're getting your finger in there and then your finger ends up kind of like hurt and cut anyways real quick <laughs> real quick tip for you if you need to be cleaning out your tracks. Let me know if you have any other hacks or tips down below in the comments of how you like to clean out your tracks because this is just what I've used but maybe you have a better method. So we recently got a ton of hand-me-downs from one of our really close friends and so I've been needing to go through and organize them by size. Um, these are gonna be all for Hudson. I do have three kids, just in case you've never seen me before. I have a five-year-old daughter, a three-and-a-half-year-old son, and then a 10-month-old son. So these are all for my youngest, and I actually have bins in the garage that are like for future bins for when they grow into them. Um, that way we don't have to spend as much money. Anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching another video with me and make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys. Hey friends and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a power hour. This power hour turned out a little bit different than I expected it to. With three kids under the age of five, I have my hands full to say the least and so getting anything done for an hour straight is pretty much near impossible unless I have my husband home. So because this was during the week, it took me three days to do a full power hour. So 
I decided to do a little bit different. So I did an hour's worth of cleaning over the span of three days. So you'll see me in different outfits and it will be different days, different lighting. The kids will be in different outfits. But I had a list of things that I wanted to get done and I got it all done. It just took me three days. So, you know, if you have multiple kids, you know how it is. You can totally tell that it was the week of Halloween when I was filming this video because there's tons of like pumpkin stuff everywhere and pumpkins we had painted and pumpkins that they used when we went trick-or-treating like to hold their candy and stuff in the buckets. Yes, you will see lots of laundry happening. I got behind again as usual. I used to be really disciplined and I did a load a day every single day. But now that I have the three kiddos, I just have not found like my rhythm yet, which Hudson is six months old this week. And so you would think I would have found a rhythm, but I haven't because there's three of them and they're just, I don't know, always moving. Hudson actually just started crawling, which is crazy. So anyways, I'm doing my best to keep up with the laundry, but it's a lot. Cool story here about my Shark Rocket vacuum. I know you guys probably get sick of hearing me talk about it, but the other day I realized that it was not sucking up the dirt. And so I tried to have my husband fix it, but we could not figure it out. We cleaned all the filters, we cut all of the hair out of it, like it was just not working. And I was so disappointed because it's only been like a year. So we called the Shark Rocket, I don't know, headquarters or something, Shark, I don't know, the Shark people, and they ended up sending us an entire new top section, like the whole engine part, I don't know what you call that, um, the part that I'm holding. They sent us a whole new one because, I don't know, I think it's under warranty for a certain amount of time. So I just wanted to share that because I felt like that was amazing that I didn't have to go out and buy a new one, but that they sent me a new one for free. So all we had to pay for was shipping. And besides that, it, we basically got a free new vacuum a year later. So I love that Shark like takes care of their customers like that. So I was, as I was editing through this footage, this part just made my heart so happy because I don't know if you guys remember this from way, way, way back in the day when I first started doing these videos, but Bentley was doing the same thing back then, just following me around everywhere I went. 
and I don't know if any of you saw the video where he was like pulling ice cubes out of the freezer and I didn't even realize it until I watched the footage back but it's just it makes me so happy because I'm like oh my gosh look how big he is it's so weird to like see my kids grow up through these videos it's kind of awesome so anyways <laughs> we were making lunches Bentley and I and it was pretty awesome because he wanted to help me which we don't normally do but I thought it was a good way for us to do something together and get stuff done so it was very cute he just hung out with me and helped me fill the Ziploc bags full of whatever the heck he wanted <laughs> Alright guys, get ready for the cutest thing ever. I almost cried when I watched this. Here it is. Oh my gosh. I just can't, cannot believe how big he's getting. He's three. Three and a half. Keeping me on Yeah, I'm strapped in Stuck in a song You can't turn off Like a merry-go-round My head is spinning I see you rapping about I'm sure as hell Outfit change number three. This is the third day that I was working on this video and I just needed to wipe down the windows. They have gotten so dirty and grimy and I just keep staring at them thinking I need to clean those windows. I need to clean those windows. So finally I did it <laughs> and I got my trusty Windex to help me because we all know that's my favorite cleaning product and I just love the way it works. So I don't know if I've ever shared with you my cleaning playlist, but I wanted to make sure and make it easy for you to find. So I'm going to put it in my iCards right now and I'll also leave it listed in the description box below, but you should check it out when you are done with this video so that you can get lots of other cleaning motivation and see all of the other awesome cleaning videos that we have made before. And I'm just using my Mrs. Myers Iowa Pine scented multi-surface spray and I get this from Grove Collaborative and if you ever want to check out their website I have that linked down below under my cleaning products and this one smells so so good I know if you are a subscriber here you're probably annoyed because I was talking about it during my entire last video 
that was cleaning but this one oh it just smells so good especially for Christmas time oh my gosh I need to take down all my fall decor when do you guys take down your fall decor I need to do it and I know I do but I just feel like I'm not ready to say bye to fall yet <laughs> And now I'm just gonna go in with my Wayman's, I think it's called Wayman's or Weeman's, um, spray for the stainless steel. And this is just what I clean up my refrigerator, my dishwasher, and my stove and oven with. Oh, and microwave. And it just makes it nice and shiny. And I don't know, I just love the way this stuff works. So this is my favorite product for stainless steel. And you can see little Hudson bouncing in the background, which is pretty much the only way but I get anything done. So I just wanted to say thank you guys again for watching another cleaning video with me. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Happy New Year everybody and welcome back to another cleaning video on my channel. Once again we start out with a disastrous looking room and I am going to be working my way through the upstairs of my house just to get things put back to normal after the craziness of Christmas. I'm sure that all of you guys can relate to this because Christmas is just kind of a go 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 period where we're spending time with family or going to parties or wrapping presents and meeting the deadlines and then all of a sudden it lands us at the new year and our house looks like a tornado hit it so don't worry you're not alone let's work through that together you can prop me up and clean your dishes or fold your laundry but let's work on this together And I'm so excited because I just got all of my new Grove shipment in, which I ordered the Mrs. Myers basil scent this time. And I wanted to let you know that they have a new offer out for all new customers. So if you spend $20 on their website, they're gonna send you for free the Mrs. Myers hand soap, dish soap, multi-surface spray, the new Grove matte caddy. It used to be shiny, but now it's matte and the Grove Walnut Scrubber Sponge. So you get all that stuff for free, which is such a good deal. And if you spend $39, they will throw in a free Grove Stoneware Tray. How neat is that? This deal is good through the month of January. If you have not yet subscribed, please make sure and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell notification so that you can be alerted anytime I upload new footage or new content. I have so much fun stuff planned for the year 2019. I have been dreaming and getting excited for all kinds of new content and good old faithful cleaning videos. I post all kinds of fun videos like lifestyle, cleaning, beauty, day in the life of a stay at home mom and I am known for being really real and honest and authentic. So if any of that stuff sounds good to you, then my channel is right up your alley. I'm a mama to three young kids, ages five, three, and seven months, and we live in Los Angeles with my super hot husband, and we would love you to join our little YouTube family. you 
And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry so I was eating my lunch while I was folding laundry, so I'm sorry that I'm chewing in this video, but I was starving. It was past lunchtime and Sean had made me a sandwich, so I was kind of taking a bite and then cleaning at the same time. If you've been a subscriber for a while, I guarantee that you have noticed that I have some new furniture in my room. I've actually had it since before Christmas, but I haven't filmed a video in my room yet with it. So we got that little dresser back there behind me. Um, and then we got two nightstands. Oh, there they are. They popped up right when I needed them to. And we got those two. It's kind of like a mid-century modern and I love like that rustic wood color. And then we got this bed and all of it is on Amazon. So I'll make sure and leave the links down below. The thing is you do have to build the furniture when it comes in, which I guess is probably normal. I would say it's easier than Ikea furniture, but pretty much everything is easier than Ikea furniture, but we have really been loving them. I just love how they look. I feel like we were looking for a while and they are just perfect. And this is actually something that I got for Christmas. I always show you guys random stuff when I do my cleaning videos. So this is from Alexandria Garza and I've been watching her channel for so many years now that when she talked about how she got this new makeup palette with Ish Beauty, I wanted to make sure and purchase it so I could support her. And I have been reading that book, Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis recently and it is making me so inspired and pumped and just excited about life and dreams and goals that we have. And so anyways, if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend it. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have read it because it's like been around for a while and very, 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 very popular. Um, so anyways, if you guys are looking for a new book for 2019 that you'd be interested in reading, that one is absolutely a good one. I promise I'm going to let you guys listen to the music, but this is a book called What I Know For Sure by Oprah Winfrey and I've been really enjoying that. And so yeah, I'm just giving you guys like the books that I've been reading, I've been getting back into reading again and not as much into like social media scrolling, but more into like feeding my mind and my soul and doing things that are good for me. So anyways, if you guys want to read that book, I will try and make sure that I get all these books linked below. And then I'm just going to let you guys listen to the music because I really like this song. some reason I felt like it was crooked and so you can see I'm trying to figure out how to get it straight I don't know anyways Bentley was there with me this is my three-year-old yes he's trying to do my dance moves that I was doing as well and anyways we're just gonna go in and vacuum with my favorite vacuum ever the shark rocket I know I know I always talk about it but it's the best I swear 
The vacuum lines will make you... it'll just make your heart sing. I don't know what else to say about it. It's the best vacuum. Thank you guys again for watching another cleaning video with me. Don't forget to check out some of my other playlists and my other videos here on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe before you head out. I will see you guys in another video and Bentley is super excited about it. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be just my morning cleaning routine and cleaning up my house a little bit. My New Year's resolution for this year was to get my morning routine down. So I'm really trying to work on this. So I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So, so I love starting my day off with my diffuser. I just put some of my lemon essential oils in it and that is supposed to help with improving mood and it also helps to cleanse and purify the air and surfaces in your home. And then immediately after that, I always run downstairs and grab my cup of coffee and bring it back upstairs with me. I actually have a full on morning routine that I do every day. And before we go any further, I wanted to tell you all that today's video is a collab with my sweet friend, Jamie. She has one daughter, two daughters on the way. She is pregnant with twins. Look how in shape she is. So make sure you go check out Jamie's morning cleaning routine. She is known for her cleaning. She is such a disciplined mama. So go check her video out as soon as you're done with mine. So then I just head upstairs and start making my bed. I try to do this every day. Some days I don't, but for the most part, I make my bed every day. And I feel like it really just makes the room look clean and tidy. And then I just pull all of our laundry together in our basket and I head over and I start a load for the day because I do a load a day keeps the chaos away. If you have been around my channel for a while, I always say that stole it from the fly lady and it's just the truth and i was trying to be super quiet this day because my son hudson who's eight months was sleeping so then i just head back downstairs and i open all the blinds that is like one of my main things that i do right away because i love the feeling of like that light and bright and like getting the day started with just I don't know, happiness and sunshine. So then after that, I usually am heating up my coffee 1,000 times a day. Let me know in the comments below if you do the same thing. And I usually go on Marco Polo or I just check in if I've posted a video that day and kind of see what's going on. Oh boy, I was talking to somebody. So now I just kind of head around the house and pick up all of the stuff that has been thrown everywhere, trying to hurry up and get everybody out the door for the day. So I usually try to pick up all the toys, all of the brushes, all of the food plates from breakfast and just get everything like reset for the day. Now that I have all of the surfaces totally cleaned off and everything's kind of bare, I like to just go in and wipe it down. I don't do this every single day, but if I have time and the kids are at school and Hudson happens to be napping at the exact same time, I will take the time and just kind of go the extra step to wipe everything down 
because then when the kids do come back, I feel like I kind of have everything totally done and I don't have to think about it while I'm with them. And then honestly, when I am alone for those very rare moments, I really enjoy being in my house when everything is just clean. So I feel like I can sit down and rest and read a book and drink my coffee and just relax. I've got my whole kitchen wiped down. If you have not yet seen my KonMari kitchen declutter and organize with Dollar Tree bins, make sure you check that out. A lot of people have been watching it lately and I feel like it's a really good video to get inspired to declutter your house. And then I just wanted to open this present that I got. Um, some of our really longtime family friends sent us over a gift for Hudson and so I just opened it up real quick and it was this cute little monkey and then like a monkey book and this little outfit and so I was really excited to put Hudson in that outfit. So for those of you who are new here, this is Hudson. He is almost nine months old. I cannot believe it. I feel like we just had him. He is our third and last baby. So I am just like soaking up these cuddles and these times together because this is the end of the baby stage for me. It's just crazy. So that's pretty much for my morning cleaning routine. It is really simple and I've noticed that if I just develop routines at certain times of day that the house stays pretty clean, which I am pretty happy about. Welcome back to another cleaning video. My name's Katie Satilli. If you're new here, I'd love to have you click that red subscribe button. I post lots of videos on mommy, lifestyle, cleaning, organizing, fun clothing, shopping, day in the life, all kinds of fun stuff over here on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed. So today I'm going to be doing a spring clean and decorate with me and it's going to be really fun. I went to TJ Maxx a little while back and got a bunch of cute spring decor and so I'm going to be setting some of that up in my living room and then I'm going to just be cleaning up my whole house and then after that I'll be doing some detailed spring cleaning. And then at some point I'm going to be taking a lunch break right in the middle of the video because I'm going to be making some HelloFresh. This was a Saturday so we just kind of had the full day to us. Sean was home so that he could help me with the kids and stuff. So I was going to be making, what is it, cherry balsamic pork chops. And I must say this is probably one of my top favorite meals that I've gotten from HelloFresh. And they are sponsoring today's video which I'm so thankful for. And I love, love, love their meals. But I will chat more about that in just a bit. For now I'm just trying to get all the clutter off of all of the countertops and just get everything wiped down so it's clean and bare. I don't like to do deep cleaning unless just like all of the surface cleaning is done. I don't know why in my head it just I can't do it. So I have to get everything just basic cleaning like that I would do each day. That has to be done before I go in and start deep cleaning like my shutters and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing now.
We've been doing a ton of coloring and drawing and writing lately. I just feel like my kids are really into it, which makes me really happy because I love when they kind of are creative and do um, stuff like that. You know, I feel like ugh, if I can get them off the TV and iPad and focused on things that will like be good for their mind, it just makes me so happy. So anyways, I was cleaning up all that stuff off the table and then of course my kids needed some lunch. So I started making them lunch. So if you are new here, you may have never heard the story of my table and I bought this table at a thrift store. I was trying to recreate like a pottery barn table that I had seen in a magazine. And so this used to be like a brown color, like a more wood color. And so we just sanded it down and painted it white and then grabbed some Ikea chairs and bam, that's our dining room table for like 25 bucks. I don't even think it was $25. I don't know. Anyways, I just thought I would let you guys know that's where we got our dining room table from and at some point soon We're probably gonna have to get a new dining room table because there's five of us now and Huddy's up there with us like at his little high chair and it's just not enough space So we're probably gonna have to get a bigger table if you have any suggestions on tables that you think would fit in my house and with my home decor style make sure you leave me a link below i would love your suggestions probably the millionth time I've talked about my back massagers but I do have a little collection of back massagers I just get them off of Amazon nothing fancy but I love using those things at night after the kids go to bed me and Sean will just hang out and watch TV and I will get my back massaged and it just makes me like my muscles relax and all that stuff so anyways I'll leave a link down below but it's awesome <laughs> obsessed with drinking water I have this massive mason jar that I've been using lately and it's so good just like I fill it with tons of ice and cold water and it's so refreshing and it just makes me chug my daily water so now I'm gonna be making our meal for the day and that is the cherry balsamic pork chops from HelloFresh. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh, it's this awesome meal delivery service and basically you don't have to meal prep, you don't have to go to the grocery store, you don't have to plan out what you're gonna eat, you just kind of sign up for the week and tell them how many people are in your house and they deliver it to your door. It's amazing, it's all portioned out perfectly so you don't have to like really do that much effort or work or brain power into it, which I absolutely love. And right now they are giving my viewers six free HelloFresh meals. All you have to do is enter code HF 60 or you could click the link down in my description box and that will take you to the six free HelloFresh meals. So I was just getting my potatoes ready to roast and then as those are in the oven I'm going to be preparing the pork and so I heated a large drizzle of oil in that pan and put the pork chops on top with some salt and pepper and then I basically did the exact same thing with the broccoli and put it on a baking sheet and then I have the broccoli and the potatoes in the oven so now I'm just chopping up the shallots and I'm gonna be making the glaze, the cherry glaze that goes over the pork chops. Oh, it was so delicious. So I'm just kind of browning the shallots in this pan with like all of the goodness that was left over from cooking the pork chops. And I'm just gonna be putting in the jam and some water and salt and pepper and sugar and butter and I'm just gonna heat it all up and oh my gosh. 
it's so good. Look at that butter. You know that a sauce is going to taste good if it has that much butter in it. So then I just put the pork back in on top of the sauce and heated that up. And then I'm just plating my broccoli and potatoes. And you can see like the steam coming off of the plate. Man, it was a good, good meal. Um, so I got the pork chops on there with the cherry glaze on top. And this meal seriously had so much flavor. It was amazing. So anyways, if you want to try out my code, it's down in the description box below. It gets you six free meals and I highly recommend HelloFresh. So if you want to try it out, don't forget to check out the description. So after we ate lunch, we just went back to cleaning. <laughs> it was one of those days. It was like a full day of cleaning. Um, so I wanted to get in some laundry and switch stuff over. So I had already put stuff in in the morning when I woke up. I usually try to throw in a load every morning on my way downstairs after I wake up. And when I'm on my way to go get my coffee, I usually try to put in a load of laundry. So now I'm just switching this over and we had some blankets and different things that we needed to be to get washed that were kind of like bigger so that's what was in this load and i'm just using my gain original scent and i'm gonna throw that in then i'm heading back downstairs and now i'm gonna start decorating a little bit so these pillows are from tj maxx this tabas tabasco basket is from tj maxx and so is this little pitcher with the lavender in it um i loved all of these things they just have this really light airy feel to it which is kind of my style it's always been my style i like to feel like i don't know like it's bright and fresh and i just like that kind of a feel so anyways that's what i was going for in my living room i kind of wish that i would have gotten a few more of these pillows but i will probably be purchasing some more throw pillows because two is not quite enough for this couch it's quite a large spacious couch um, and then that white throw blanket we recently got from target and it is the softest throw blanket everybody in my house fights over it it's the best. So anyways, now I'm just going to be messing around with these shelves. These shelves are from Cost Plus World Market and they're super old, but I love them still. Anyways, it's always kind of a challenge for me to figure out how to decorate these. I feel like I do an okay job, but I do my best and that's all I can do. Oh, and then, okay, I'm going to let you guys listen to the music. I promise. But that sign back there, like the poster, it was a happy birthday poster that my niece and nephew and my kids made for me. So I think that this was like the day after my birthday when I did this. So anyways, okay. Now I'm gonna let you guys listen to the music instead of me just like literally talking this entire video. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in and clean my blinds. It's been a hot minute and a half since I cleaned these guys off and it it's embarrassing, you know? I don't know why I throw this stuff up on the internet because it's totally embarrassing, it's disgusting. But hopefully you guys can't see too well, but I have not cleaned these things in a very long time. If you're wondering what this little contraption is that I have made over here, I have a video on it, so I'll link that down below if you want to make one yourself. I just got all the items from the Dollar Tree. Super cheap, super easy. I love it, but um, I will say I wish I had a couple of them because after a little while, they get a little bit dirty and then it just, you know, you're just spreading the dirt. So anyways, I'll make sure and leave that video linked. And 
this is why we spring clean people because there is a huge spider on my curtain and there was like little cobwebs and I was like, no, this is not okay. So then I went into hardcore spring cleaning mode, got out my lavender all purpose <laughs> cleaning spray. Why couldn't I think of the word? And it's from Method. And I sprayed down all my windowsills. I went nesto. After I found that spider, I was like, mm -mm, I do not let spiders in my house. No, thank you. So that's pretty much my cleaning for the day. Thanks for hanging out with me. My kids were eating bowls of peanut butter right here, but at least it's the healthy peanut butter, so I'm okay with that. And you can see everything is kind of cleaned up, except for where Bentley just wiped his face on my table <laughs> with peanut butter. Oh my gosh, whatever. Just move past it, right? So anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more cleaning videos, especially for spring. And don't forget to check out HelloFresh down in the description box.